Hey everybody, Paul James Caden here with Journey Into Spiritualism, and I'm going to share some new uh, camera footage with you guys of an orb that I caught at a haunted location uh, last Wednesday. My wife and I went to the Parkview Inn in Owego, New York, which uh, is said to be quite haunted, and um, I didn't do any um big spirit investigation but we had dinner and then i decided hey you know what i'm going to take my phone into the bathroom i'm going to turn on the camera and just see if anything appears and uh what i did is i used this app right here and you probably see some of the uh videos i recorded uh, uploaded onto my uh, video platforms, which is the the ghost tube. Toy. And uh, what it does is, of course, you can record, you know, through the camera. And down here is a word bank. And the theory behind the word bank is that you know the spirits can manipulate the uh, the word bank and choose words or phrases to communicate with you. Now, a lot of people say they have um, good success with these kinds of tools. And it op operates pretty much on the same premise as a ghost box. And a ghost box is a radio that is uh, kind of rigged to scroll through the stations kind of rapidly. And it said the spirits can use the static to, you know, form words and uh, communicate with the person using it. So it's kind of the same premise with uh, a word bank. And uh, the interesting thing with this is that I was recording, and you'll see it in, in the clips that I'm going to uh, share with you in this video. I was in the bathroom. I ended up being in there for like 20 minutes. My wife was like, what the heck? You know, <laughs> let me sit in here for 20 minutes. But uh, I went in the bathroom. I turned out the light. I turned on the camera. I asked if there were any spirits present. And at first I was in there a couple minutes and I was like, I'm just gonna turn on the light and leave. I'm gonna shut the camera off. And uh, up on the voice bank, it said, uh, and you'll see this in the video, it said, don't leave. And uh, this only records for a short period of time unless you subscribe uh, to the app, 1199 a year, uh, which I'm going to do, but I had to, record, uh, you know, three uh, shorter sections that I'm going to splice all together for this video. So I had stopped, you know, the time ran out for the first recording. I turned the camera back on and I said, oh, we got to don't leave. That was kind of interesting. You know, take that for what we will. And uh, it came up again, don't leave. So I said, hmm, I wonder if that's, you know, somebody trying to communicate saying, hey, don't leave, stay here. Uh, communicate with me, you know, acknowledge me. And uh, at one point, and you'll, again, you'll see in the video toward the end where I turn and I'm facing the camera toward the wall and I ask, you know, if anyone, anyone can um, pass in front of the camera, any orbs, any lights. And just as I say it, you'll see an orb moving from left to right. And there were no bugs. There, were, there was no... Uh, you know, not a lot of dust, you know, in the, the bathroom. So I thought this was all very interesting, and I thought I would uh, share these clips with you guys. If you're interested, again, that's Ghost Tube. They also have another app I'll show you real quick. And I find these cheaper apps, and this is usually the thing with most apps, no matter what it is that I find, is that the ones people dislike the least seem to work the best and the ones that people like the most are overly complicated they cost a lot of money they don't work uh the way they say they're going to work and uh i really like the uh the ghost tube apps and they have a second one which has let me turn up the volume i had turned it down and i'm going to use this one in the future as you can see, it has a built-in ghost box. It's, it's scanning through internet radio, uh, picking up, uh, you know, any voices or sounds. There, there's white noise. 
and I was playing with this last night. I didn't have the camera on, and I asked if any orbs, would, if anyone could pass in front of the camera, and a female voice came through and said, it's easy for them to pass by. So I found that very interesting, and I'm looking forward to using this. I want to go to one of the uh, local cemeteries and use this for the first time and see, you know, what comes up. So hopefully uh, I'll be bringing that to you guys soon. And like I said, this is all part of, you know, spiritualism. Spiritualism deals with the inner, the spiritual life, but also, uh, you know, spiritualism is considered a science, you know, looking for that uh, concrete scientific evidence through our own explorations uh, to prove there's an afterlife, that there's something beyond all of this. So that's why I do videos like this, and I find them very interesting. Uh, it's good to kind of be back out there, back in the field. I did this, geez, years ago, kind of amateur uh, ghost hunting. I didn't have uh, really any equipment at all, you know, back then, except for a pocket recorder and uh, a camera and a camcorder. And, uh, you know, I used to go out to, you know, haunted places where I used to live, uh, graveyards, cemeteries, and it was a lot of fun. I, I certainly have a lot more equipment now in some of the apps like this that are uh, really interesting to use. So I'm bringing it all to you guys and seeing uh, what we can find out there as we talk about spirituality, spiritualism, evolving and growing our own soul to, you know, when we pass on to the next life, we go to the light, uh, we go to the presence of God and not the dark place so i hope you enjoy this footage tune in let me know what you think uh, i thought it was kind of interesting and uh here we go i'm going to share it right now all right paul james caden here with journey into spiritualism taking a video here at the Park View Inn in Owego, New York. Peter, monster. Are there any spirits in this room? Can you pass by the camera? Show us a light, an orb. Anything at all. Continuing with the video in the bathroom, you'll notice if you're watching this, there is a word bank at the bottom of the screen. So it's also interesting to pay attention to the words that come through. I was thinking about turning on the light and leaving and it said don't leave, so take that for what we will. <laughs> someone here telling me not to leave? Is there someone who can leave a message in the word bank here? Is there someone here who doesn't want me to leave? And one more time, this is a uh, Kind of interesting to me. Anything? Screen. Anything else anyone wants to say? Any orbs that can go by? Oh, look at that. Can you do that again? Can you pass in front of the camera one more time? Please and thank you. <laughs> 